Today I want to share one of my health practices. I'm going to take first I'm going to take some selenium and then I'm going to take some iodine. This is a selenium where each drop this is called tongue oil. It's only one place in the world that you can get this. Each drop is a milligram. You should remember that every other product in capsule form or tablet form or even liquid suggests between 55 micrograms and 200 micrograms. 200 micrograms is basically an official dose. Everybody's worried about toxicity with selenium, so they like to keep the dose low. But here we have one, each drop being a milligram, which is um, 5 to 20 times a regular dose. This particular selenium is very special. It's, it's selenium bonded to a lipid, to a fat. In this case, sesame oil. And it was developed by a surgeon, a, a reasonably famous doctor from New York City, Rivisi, and he used to treat cancer by injecting selenium. When I discovered his work I, and this particular selenium, I started writing a book about selenium, which is a very interesting mineral. But anyway, I'm not going to talk, go too deep into detail about selenium right now or iodine. I take this and put it under my tongue. It's reasonable tasting. I didn't count the drops. This selenium is so safe that you can take very high oral dosages and as such mimic the work of Dr. Mavisi in treating cancer. Now I do this and treat, I take a big dose maybe once every two weeks. I'm not treating cancer. If I was treating cancer I would be doing this every day, twice a day. And then I wash the selenium down with some iodine. Again, you notice I'm taking a drop of full. Just, yeah, that's about right. Again, I don't count the drops. I've been taking iodine for years and never had a reaction from iodine. Don't have toxic accumulation in my thyroid. Don't have any type of thyroid disease. So, take a nice dosage. It's very nice because it also washes the taste of the selenium, which is a little heavy. Very simply, with two droppers and a little water, I've given myself a very strong treatment. Iodine, I recommend, of course, to everybody. With people who are new to taking iodine, I suggest starting at very low dosages because people who have thyroid issues you should start out very slowly and then build, gradually build. Iodine, I have a chapter on iodine, talking about iodine as a replacement for antibiotics and even as a replacement for vaccines. There are a lot of political reasons why iodine has been forgotten. Though a hundred years ago, it was one of the most popular medicines that you'd find in the pharmacy, along with medical marijuana. Iodine is incredibly useful. You should not be deficient in it. If you don't want to get breast cancer, ovarian cancer, thyroid cancer, or prostate cancer, all these glands concentrate iodine, so deficiency in these tissues tells. Selenium, of course, is a very mysterious mineral. It's a, a vital component in glutathione, which is a very important enzyme for removing toxic insults to the cells in the body. There are many selenium proteins Selenium, when, you, when the person is deficient in selenium, cancer rates go up. 
and there's geographic studies to show that. So this is a very simple way to take very powerful medicine.